I just wanted to make a quick video on late diagnosed autism. Um, I'll be 48 years old in, on the 18th. Today is the 10th, so about a week. And I've been knowing that I was on the spectrum. I couldn't get confirmation, and I'm still going through the process of getting confirmation. But I've been knowing for over 10 years, since about 2000 and 2007, 2006, somewhere in there. Um, uh, I just I happened to find something called Asperger's Syndrome, and um, it was like a, a lightning bolt from the computer screen right into my chest. I was like, that's it. And I looked at all the symptoms and, you know, typically it gives you a, a list and it says, okay, if you have any five of these, uh, then you, you most likely have this. And I had all of them, <laughs> maybe, or, or maybe all except one or something like that. I mean, it was, it was a, uh, a landslide, but um, I just went through like a preliminary testing with uh, an office here uh, in the metro area where I live and, um, uh, you know, did an, uh, an hour long, um, Skype, basically kind of like a Skype interview. And, uh, and then I filled out some measures, which are basically tests. I think like six tests in all or something like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and it came back and confirmed what I had already known. And I had been asking mental health professionals for quite a while. I was like, hang on, let me lower this down a little bit. That's better. So I had been asking mental health professionals for uh, for years, you know, hey, do you think that this is it? Could this be it? And um, well, well, you know, your eye contact is 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 too good. Um, you smile too much. Um, I don't know. They just any any little thing that they could do to deny me. Um, a diagnosis for it. Um, they were, they were using certain information to deny me while ignoring my, you know, ignoring what I was saying. I was like, okay, well, how come, how come I have very few friends? I mean, really at, at the moment, I really don't have any friends. Uh, I'm a friendly person. I'm friendly with everyone, um, but I don't have any like close friends. Um, all the close friends that I've had over the years, um, they, I don't know, they just drifted away. Um, I had three real relationships, three different women at different times, and um, uh, those failed. I've, I've, I've had other shorter relationships, you know, uh, prior to that, but like I had three main relationships, it's almost like, um, what was it, uh, Chaz Palmateri in uh, A Bronx Tale. He was like, you get three, you get three. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it couldn't be, uh, I mean, it's very, that was at least truthful for me. Uh, it was three uh, I'd love to have a relationship, but I'm going to be 48 and, you know, no job. Um, I kind of had a career that I, I've pretty much had to abandon because of my autism. Um, I don't have any money saved up. I don't own anything. Um, so it would, it would take, it would take a very special lady. Uh, and I think I have a lot of great qualities. Uh, in terms of uh, a relationship, um, but it would just take a very special person um, uh, 
not that I'm difficult, but it, it would it would have it would have to come with a a certain understanding and a certain uh, acceptance of okay, you know I'm not getting the 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 guy you know the 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 party guy, I'm not getting the guy that has like a bunch of friends and you know I don't know I don't know how it is for for regular people not that I'm not a regular person but I think I'm regular but you know oh honey uh you know just uh, I just got home from the office and uh Bob gave us uh, four tickets for the hockey game tonight or you know on Friday um you know I don't I don't have that kind of uh I just don't have that sort of relationship with anyone uh currently um I don't have the wife to come home to and say that too, and I don't have the friends to give me the, the sporting tickets. Um, uh, it's not completely beyond beyond me. Uh, I could, like I said, I'm a very friendly person, and I have been gifted some cool things uh, in the past that were similar. But you know, I I just think it would take. Uh, so anyway. The, you know, three relationships. Um, I, I, I just got a divorce uh, less than two years ago. Um, actually, I think my divorce was finalized um, probably about a year ago. Yeah. Uh, my wife divorced me. I, I was willing to work it out, but um, she, she wasn't. So, um, but anyway, um, so for those of you that know my channel, uh, you know that I, I'm kind of, I don't know, artsy. I like to make, uh, I don't have many videos, but, uh, mostly they're centered around music. I just, uh, made a, a fantastic cover of, a, of a old Cure song that I think came out really well. I love playing guitar. I like uh, I like singing, um, I like comedy. So I've made a couple of videos that were you know it was humor, comedy, um, satire, um, parody. Um, but I really want to start making videos on mental health issues, um, probably specifically in the autism realm uh, and I might even uh, well I'll just say it I have plans to start a new channel this channel isn't going anywhere I'm always gonna you know make music somehow and put it on this channel um, uh, and then of course my comedy bits or any other um, anything that's just Brett Burnside but I, I I do have plans on making another channel that is my life on the autism spectrum and hopefully my story can help and give comfort to others that are in a similar situation um, I think the sooner that you can recognize the signs and get confirmation, the better. Um, I think having a supportive family is crucial. My family is just coming around to being supportive. Uh, I mean, they're, I live with my parents currently, so obviously, you know, they're supportive. They, after my divorce, I got to move back in here and they're not charging me rent or anything like that. Um, uh, they don't have to pay for my food because I have um, the government's helping with that. So I don't, I don't, I'm not a burden there. And uh, I clean up their house and I, I cut the grass and stuff like that. And they kick me a few dollars. Um, but uh, basically, I, I don't have. Uh, uh, like a real substantial gainful income or employment. Um, I had a career in uh, computer-aided design, but um, 
I, uh, let's see, it's August now. I ended the last job. I just couldn't take it. I, I just, just, I felt like the walls were crushing in on me and um, it was really bad. Uh, I have a lot of sensitivities um, and I just, you know, it was, it was me. I, I had to go. I had to go. I was gonna, I was gonna get sh short with people. I was gonna, I was, you know, there were certain things I just could not, I, I, I just, it, it couldn't, there was things that were happening on the job that I just could not continue to allow myself to be in that, in that place. Sounds, um, or, uh, I mean, a lot of it was, was sounds. Um, the radio playing in the office across the hall or my coworker sitting next to me constantly muttering under his breath the entire day the F word and calling his computer the B word and um, and then and then even one time he lost his control and, and he punched his he, he actually whacked his own computer screen and I was just like I just I cannot see myself working next to this man for the next six months for the next you know <laughs> let alone years I just couldn't I just could not I couldn't do it um, and I think that maybe someone that doesn't have my condition could maybe roll with it or have the confidence to go to the boss and say hey this is what's going on I need a, a different work environment I need a different office maybe work from home I just didn't have that that confidence uh, to do that, and there were other problems. They, um, you know, um, I was supposed to be flying to Texas for uh, training um, to further my training as a uh, fire sprinkler designer, and it was going to be myself and another employee, and he pulled out at the last minute. And I mean, one of the classic things with people with autism is if you want to see them go into a, a meltdown or um, or a, what is it called, autistic burnout, you know, change, you know, change their, change what they're used to, uh, which sounds really terrible. I wish I, I really wish I could have. Um, hung in there. There were other issues that I don't want to get into. Um, um, I was worth more uh, on, on the financial end. I was worth more than uh, than what they were paying me. I thought the the salary, it wasn't salaried. Uh, uh, it was hourly, but it was uh, it was low. You could make you could make it up. There was overtime, but I mean, that's you know, that's like dangling the carrot in front of the donkey. Uh, oh, you want to make uh, 60000 Oh, well, come on, you know, give up your Saturdays. And it's like, give up my Saturdays to, to sit next to this guy that punches his computer screen and mutters under his breath all day. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> um, my diet went to shit while I was working there. So, I mean, there was just like a, a bunch of, uh, a, a whole list of reasons. It was like an entourage effect. And I just, I hit burnout really bad and I just had to leave. So, um, so anyway, um, yeah, my name is Brett. I'm 48 years old. I'm living at home with my parents. I've been making YouTube videos. I, 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 I like it. It's, it is stressful. Um, I don't, I don't have a lot of videos it's there. I can't work on it all the time. I have to just work on it when inspiration and energy and creativity meet at a crossroads. And it, it's like, it's like some sort of thing that strikes. And that's specifically why I'm doing this type of video where I'm just talking to the camera because all my other videos are more creative. They're, they're cut, they're edited, um, or it takes like a performance with a guitar or searching for 
you know, it, this is just going to be filming and some editing and then, you know, that's, that's the sort of channel that I would like to have. Uh, and plus, this is the thing that, you know, I have a lived experience with um, all my life. And we can get into that. Um, I just need to figure out what topics um, I would like to talk about. And then I'll probably, probably the hardest part is going to be um, sort of scripting out a little bit just so I stay on point because uh, I have so much to talk about uh, 48 years and I mean there's been there's been some good times but I mean definitely not a typical path you know most men my age are married a lot of them have houses and careers um, and autism and my the the environment that I developed in with that autism has just made that um, impossible for me uh, so far. So um, I wonder how many minutes are we at? Yeah. Sorry, my eyes are going bad. Okay, we're at 15, 16 minutes. I'm going to sign off here. But uh, stay tuned for another video uh, regarding my experience with autism. Um, I, I'm currently going through testing for autism. Um, I got a preliminary test that definitely supports my belief that I'm on the spectrum. I, I had it done with a professional, but she didn't do the full testing because it really would have wiped out every penny that I had. Um, and so she recommended that I just use uh, 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 Medicaid to get testing. So uh, so she saved me ar uh, around $2,000. So I'm, I'm quite grateful, but she did a preliminary report uh, with me and she said, oh yeah, it, everything is pointing to you having autism. So um, I'm trying to get on disability. Um, I hired a Section 8 consultant so I can move out of my parents' house. Um, so yeah, this is, um, this is basically like a, a vlog series of, of me becoming independent and reclaiming my life and uh, you know, you're still going to get fun stuff from me, like I said, music or some other comedy type uh, videos. But um, wish me luck. I need all the support and good vibes that you guys can send me. Um, so I'm going to end it here. Thanks, guys.